Hello everybody and welcome to this video where today we are going to find out about the thing that is trying to destroy you and never sleeps and never stops and every breath you take it's constantly trying to defeat you and here's the kicker at the end it always will win. So now that you're all happy and excited to hear the rest of what's going on here, we could get into this little video here. So this comes from a comment I got on one of my writing tip videos, and it is from Stephanie C. Thoughts. It says, I think my issue is I get so afraid of not having enough time that I become overwhelmed with projects that don't get done anyways. Okay, so this is a huge issue, all right? And there's really not a whole lot of ways around this, okay? It's what we're going to basically be talking about here is knowing your enemy, and that's it. So here is something that you need to either tattoo on your arm, get a t-shirt, or have somebody do one of those... Um, yeah hang up on the wall okay this is it time waits for no one okay time is your biggest enemy and your entire life is going to be a head-to-head -head battle with time and you and time will always win so this goes back to it's not about winning the fight it's about how hard we fought, okay? Time's gonna win. Like right now, you could be creating something, but you're watching this video, and I'm glad you're watching this video, and I hope this video helps you. But guess what's happening right now? Every time I open my mouth and say a word, another second ticks by, another second ticks by, another second ticks by, that you will never, ever, ever get back, okay? You do not have time to do all the stuff that you wanna do. It's a fact. But it's how much can you get done in the time allotted. That's what life is. Believe me, there are tons of things that I want to do that I know I'm not going to be able to do. But I still get more done than almost anyone you've ever met. Okay? But there's still stuff that I want that I'm not doing. It's all about how to... Use the time you have as wisely as you can. So I'm not trying to say this to depress anyone or to scare anyone, but time never stops. It doesn't give a fuck what you're doing. It doesn't give a fuck if you're sick one day. It doesn't give a fuck if you're hungover. It doesn't give a fuck if you just got your heart broken. It doesn't give a fuck about anything. It just keeps going. Time is the perfect construct no matter what happens, it will never give up. Entropy is real, okay? We are constantly in a state of decay. It's the second law of thermodynamics, okay? A battery you have will never have more energy than it did when it was new. It's just how it is. And some of you might be going, rechargeable batteries, you dumbass. You know what I'm trying to get at, okay? It's an analogy, you fuck. This is where I'm going to get dark as fuck. Each minute that goes by is a minute that you are closer to your own death. That's it. So all you can do is say, fuck it, and not pay attention to it, and just try to get as much done as possible. I will tell you what. I will fucking tell you what. I stopped looking at clocks and my life got better i was happier things tend tended to work out better when i lived by a clock i felt like i was not in control of my life so now what i do is i don't look at the clock i'll set reminders for things for like a day out and then like an hour out because if there's anything I have to do that's going to take me longer than an hour to get ready for, I'm not going to fucking do it. Or an, longer than an hour to get to, fuck that, I'm not going to fucking do it. 
Okay. But I don't look at clocks. My phone will say, hey, fucker, you got something to do in an hour. So stop what you're doing and get ready to do this. And it's made me a more relaxed person, a more free person. I don't have clocks around the house. I try to never have the clock on on the stove. I don't have a microwave. The whole fucking deal. Okay. Clocks are bullshit. Fuck those things. Like, I basically, <laughs> I'm like a fucking caveman. I work off the sun. I work until the sun goes down. And when the sun goes down, I'm like, oh, I could drink wine now and start typing my posy. <laughs> and then I do that until I'm either so tired or so drunk that I'm doing this. I do these like leans, like when I get like really fucked up. Whatever. That's embarrassing. And then I go, oh, I'm done. I need to go to sleep. And then I go to sleep. And I make sure I never schedule anything before, I don't know, I think 10 in the morning is the absolute earliest I fucking schedule anything for. Because if I have to do anything before 10, I'm going to be cranky as shit. And I know, like, as I'm explaining my life, a lot of you cannot do the life I'm doing because of responsibilities that you have. But any time that you can make a little less dependent on the clock, the more you will get done is the best way I can say this. Setting deadlines is really good. And you're like, well, deadlines are based on the clock. Well, deadlines are based on a fucking calendar. It's kind of the same thing, but kind of not. You know, I'm not sitting there watching seconds tick by. I just know, oh, it's July. I have to put a chapbook out this month. You know, like, it. I don't have a set day. It'll get out this month eventually. Shit. I was supposed to put Project Broadside out in June, and it ended up going up on, was it June 30th or July 1st? I might have fucking fucked that up too. But guess what? I don't have the stress and the pressure from that. Okay. So anything that you can do to kill the clock is going to help you immensely. It's going to free you up and just every day do little things to hit all of those goals you have. So you can do the things, finish the projects that you want to do and definitely finish projects. Oh, the most fucking like heartbreaking thing to me is seeing that drawer in someone's desk full of notebooks of unfinished projects. It just breaks my heart. And the reason why most projects are unfinished aren't because they're not good, but it's because you lost your desire to make those things because of how long it took you to fucking get as far as you got. When you get inspired to do something, you have to do it right then. Like you have to be able to stop and drop what you're doing and start working on something, outlining, just making notes, and then have that be your priority. But you have to be realistic enough to go, okay, I can do this if I have like two days uninterrupted. I'm not going to be able to get two interrupted days. How about two weeks of an hour a day that I could just throw into this? And I'll throw those hours in wherever I could get them. Sometimes there'll be more, sometimes there'll be less, depending on what's going on. But you have to stop looking at the clock. The clock is the killer. The clock is going to kill you. Time is already going to win. So let's not give them an upper hand and stare at a fucking clock all the time and feel like your life's wasting away. I don't know if this was helpful or not. I hope it was. If you have any questions or thoughts about this or like arguments against this, leave them in the comments down below and I'll either talk about it down there or I'll make another video about it and we can keep this conversation going about how Tom is a bitch and it's gonna win. And we just have to fight hard and show that we did a good job while we were here, okay? So with that said, keep buying my books, type hard everybody, and I will talk to you all later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Creo and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. Thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew of the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.